we're asked to evaluate the integral and determine if the integral is convergent or divergent. Analyzing the interval of integration and the integrand function, notice how there is discontinuity at x equals three, which means to evaluate this, we'll have to write this as a limit. Before we do this though, because the integral requires u substitution, let's perform the u substitution first. Let's let u equal x minus three, and therefore du is equal to the derivative of x minus three times dx, du equals one dx or just dx. And now let's write the integral with respect to u. If u is equal to x minus three and du equals dx, we have six divided by u squared du. And now let's find the new limits of integration with respect to u. The limits of integration from three to four are x values, not u values. Using the equation u equals x minus three, notice when x equals three, u is equal to three minus three or zero. And when x is equal to four, u is equal to four minus three or one. And now analyzing the integral with respect to u, notice how we have discontinuity at u equals zero, which means we need to write this as a limit. The def integral is equal to the limit as a approaches zero from the right. We're approaching zero from the right because as we approach zero from the right, we are in the interval of integration. And then we have the integral from a to one, let's write six divided by u squared as six u to the power of negative two, and we have du. So if you look at what we did, we replaced u equals zero, where we had discontinuity with the variable a, and then we have the limit as a approaches zero from the right. And again, we're approaching zero from the right because if we approach from the right, we are approaching from within the interval of integration. The next step is to find the antiderivative with respect to u. We have the limit as a approaches zero from the right of six times u to the power of negative one divided by negative one. The limits of integration for u are from a to one. Well, six divided by negative one is negative six. Let's go ahead and factor out the negative six. We have negative six times the limit as a approaches zero from the right, we're left with u to the power of negative one, which is one divided by u. And now we need to determine big F of one minus big F of a. We have negative six times the limit as a approaches zero from the right of, big F of one is one divided by one minus big F of a is one divided by a. And now to determine the limit as a approaches zero from the right. One divided by one is equal to one, which is not affected by a. And then we have minus one divided by a. One divided by a approaches positive infinity as a approaches zero from the right because we're dividing one by smaller and smaller positive values. But then we're subtracting that value and therefore minus one divided by a approaches negative infinity which gives us a negative six times a value approaching negative infinity. And since a negative times a negative is positive, the value of the original limit or the def integral approaches positive infinity. And since positive infinity is not a real number, we say the integral diverges or is divergent. If the limit did exist and we had a real number, then we would say the integral is convergent or converges. I hope you found this helpful.